Yep. Okay, guys, this is how you assemble one of these hardbarred LEMD rotors. You basically put the bolts through the hat, line it up real easy like this. The hex heads fit into the groove. So the only tools you're really going to need besides a 7 16 torque wrench is a piece of cardboard. And you'll see what that's for in just a second. So the bolt heads all get nice in the groove like that. Take your piece of cardboard, put it over, and flip it. Now all you do is take the rotor, put the rotor over the studs, and then you take your floater bushings in the case of our new AP T1 rotor here. So you align the floater bushing on one side, align another one on the other. There's flats as you see in here. And so then you basically just populate the entire thing, which I'm not going to do for this video, but I'll just go the next step. Then the ones, you put a Nordlock washer on each one, like that. Then you take the quarter 20 nut and thread it on. Quarter 28, excuse me. And um, thread them on. And then your torque spec, after you get it all up, is 85 inch pounds of torque. So, torque wrench, take one, start at one spot, click, and then you go all around. So I'm not going to do that for sake of time, but that's all there is to it. And the other thing we do is we take a paint stick, which in this case is the yellow one, get them at any hobby stores and craft stores, and then just stripe it like that. That way you know at a glance if it has rotated. Never has with the Nordlock since we started this, but anyway, it's a good uh, way to make sure you torqued each one. Thank you.